Oh, some commuter chaos to show you in two different locations caused by two different cats and two rescue operations. Here's CBS 2's Dave Carlin with the story now. New at 11. Hair raising commutes on bridges and trains, especially this week, thanks to these two cats. The first, loose on subway train tracks at the Canal Street station. The second, perilously perched on the Manhattan Bridge. In both cases, commuters were stuck. The conductor sounded very apologetic, actually, and a little frustrated and said, This is going to take a while. Mayor Fertig was on one of the 80 trains delayed for more than half an hour during Wednesday's evening rush. While he and other strap hangers waited, NYPD officers Brian Kenny and Gus Vargas went down onto the tracks. On this video, you see a rectangular nook in the wall. The terrified male cat cowering there. Officer Kenny grabbed him, the tail just inches from the third rail. Officer Kenny did not suffer a single scratch, saying the cat reached for both my shoulders like a baby. He almost hugged me. Here you see the cat reunited with his very relieved owner on the platform. What's his name? George. How is George doing? Well, he's scared now. We visited the scaredy cat and his owner, Mila Rusafova, who says she's embarrassed and regrets that she had George on a leash instead of in a cat carrier. She's grateful the train operator stopped in time. I'm glad that he was patient. He waited for everybody else to show up. Another potential cat catastrophe avoided right here on the Manhattan Bridge. This cat was spotted Wednesday here up high on the span. Today, after several lanes of the bridge were closed, officers and bridge workers made the rescue, handing the stray over to the city's animal care and control. Somebody should adopt the cat. I'll adopt the cat. Yes, please adopt is the message from city officials who also say any cat out and about needs to be in a carrier kept out of trouble. In Lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.